Hello everybody, we are here in Austin, Texas and we are here at the Consensus 2022 by Coindesk, the festival for the decentralized world. And with me I have today Andrew Peake, who is the co-founder of Delphia. Welcome Andrew. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. Yeah. And um, Andrew, can you tell us when was Delphia founded, who are the core team members and in which countries is Delphia working in? Sure. Uh, it's probably a less simple answer to when it was founded because Delphia is actually the amalgamation of two different research labs mm -hmm. that existed before Delphia, the company, was around. Okay. So the first lab I was introduced to in 2014, but they started their research in 2011. And this lab was especially skilled in quantitative social science, which is to say mm. they could use attributes about you that you might declare, like your attitudes, values, beliefs. Okay. And, if, and they could couple that with your behavior to sort of do better prediction around your future behavior. Oh, okay. That was one lab. The other lab was working on a, a significant leap forward in how to forecast or predict mm -hmm. uh, public companies. Okay. And so they were sort of uh, trying to use machine learning to predict the fundamentals of these companies, which are far more stable and robust, mm. uh, and then mapping that back to stock prices. So I found that lab in 2017. And okay. so Delphi as a company started in 2018, uh -huh. but these two labs didn't come together until 2020. Wow. So there's three founders. There's myself, our CTO, Cameron Westland, uh -huh. and our chief investment officer, Jonathan Briggs. Oh, okay. And right now, are you only operating in the U.S.? Or? Oh, right. That, thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. So we're operating in the U.S. primarily. That's where our services are available. We have teams in Toronto, New York, the Valley, and London, England. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. As an accredited investor, though, you can invest in Delphia from anywhere in the world. If you're a non-accredited investor, you need to be in the U.S. In the U.S. Okay, okay, cool. Now, I see that Delphia uses machine learning and social sciences to study the collective personal data and shared by its members to make smart investment decisions mm -hmm. uh, with renewable investment capital. So can you shed more light on that? Yeah, so you, you can think of it like a data DAO okay. where there's a collective of people who are all willing to contribute their data into a common place, a common pool. Okay. And what what they're, what they're trying to do with this data is they're trying to improve their investment returns. So mm. each of them has an investment account with Delphia. It could be a very small account, it could be $25. Uh -huh. But they've opened an account and, and they understand that data can drive better prediction. Okay. So they're willing to contribute their data towards making the AI smarter at stock selection. Oh, and okay. they're, all, they're all sharing in this common portfolio that is improving over time. Okay, okay, cool. And as it says on your website that you built a Wall Street caliber algorithm mm -hmm. designed to help you achieve superior investment returns. Yeah. So can you explain more on that? Yeah, so that second research lab I mentioned, mm -hmm. um, they came from the world of asset management and that, that breakthrough in forecasting okay. sort of was born. It, it was Wall Street caliber from the get-go. Okay. And so what it means is that um, the the way we built the machine learning, mm -hmm. it not only attracts an average person, but it attracts some of the world's biggest institutions as well. Okay. And so it meets their criteria for sophistication, which is a, quite a high bar. Okay. And so that's why we refer to it as a Wall Street caliber algorithm is because we can take a $25 investment from yourself mm -hmm. and we can take a $250 million investment from you know a sovereign wealth fund if we wanted to. Right, right. So even someone who is, I saw that as low as $10 or $25 yeah. can invest yeah. in, into the project and, under, and also get good returns. That's right. Now they get different portfolios. That's important to understand. So okay. the machine, it's one machine learning stack uh -huh. that does all this stock selection, mm -hmm. but you can't give the same portfolios to accredited and non-accredited investors because there's a lot of regulatory conditions around it. Right. There's also technology constraints. Uh -huh. So you can give an accredited investor mm -hmm. uh, what's called pure alpha, which is like all skill, no exposure to the market. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So it isolates the stock picks and, and tries to hedge out any other exposure. Right. And so that's higher risk. Okay. Right. So it can, that can theoretically go to zero, but it could theoretically do even better. Better. Right. And right. so that's why accredited folks are able to put money into that portfolio. Whereas 
non-accredited folks, you take your skill, your your stock picks, mm -hmm. and you put it on top of a benchmark, okay. right? Like the S&P 500, that's a popular benchmark. Uh -huh. And so the, the idea is that you'll outperform that benchmark if you are skilled at those stock picks. Wow, okay. Wow, wow, that's interesting. No, please leave them. That's interesting. Leave them. <laughs> and I wanted to ask about the whole ecosystem. Uh, how does, especially the community governance, how does it all work at Delphia? Yeah, so that's something we're still imagining, okay. right? We've had the benefit, I would say, of watching a lot of Dow projects, uh -huh. you know, pioneer different governance models. And right. it's actually a lot harder than you probably, than everyone probably realized. Yes, yeah. So, you know, we're, this summer is where we're actually putting effort against how that DAO will be governed. Okay. And it's going to start in simple ways. It's going to, it's going to evolve over time and, and it's going to need its own identity, its own independence. And so right. Delphia will have maybe a hand in that, but Delphia will not drive it writ large. It'll be a, a, collab, a network of collaborators okay. who ultimately govern how the DAO behaves. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, what do you think about the regulations at global level, how important it is. And, you know, there's been a lot of bubble right now, especially with regulations across the world when it comes to the technology, the blockchain technology or, or the digital assets. So what do you think where it's heading and how important it is? I mean, everybody's searching for bright lines in the regulations. Right. And I think that'll be a pivotal moment. The mm -hmm. SEC is, I think, intentionally taking their time with drawing those bright lines. Yes. Um, I mean, the SEC is only one regulator in this in this global mix. Right. Um, but nevertheless, I think it's tough. You know, we're all swimming in uncertainty right now. Mm -hmm. um, but when those bright lines start to land, I think you're going to see a lot of projects that have been sort of in a wait and see mode right. really hit a different level of a velocity. You might even see some migration between countries and jurisdictions uh, in terms of talent and whatnot, mm -hmm. based on how the lines are drawn. So it's critical. The industry needs yeah. it. Yes. Uh, I, I would imagine if I was a betting man, and I am, I would imagine this is coming in you know, the next 12 months. It's, it feels like it can't be much longer than that at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. And, and right now we saw the market, you know, it's been in a bubble for a while. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, what do you think the road ahead looks like for the crypto market and especially you know there are a lot of people who are still not sure about this but what do you think the future holds when it comes to cryptocurrency i think it's a very promising future obviously that's why uh -huh. we're in the space i think you're going to see pretty much everything become investable at some level Right. 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 Uh, whether that's you know in a gamified type way that uh, or or in a regulated type way, mm -hmm. um, the fact that we can sort of digitize any asset uh, and and you know use it in a myriad of ways and, and combinations and whatnot, right. that that is unlikely to stop or slow. Right. You know there'll be regulation around it most certainly, but I would I would posit that. And you know what? There's actually a prior for this, right? If you're an accredited investor, if you're an institution. Mm -hmm. There's a category of your portfolio that's called alternatives. Mm -hmm. They've been using that word forever, right? Right. And right. everything goes into the alternatives category. Hedge funds go in there, you know, wine futures. You could have, you know, all kinds of very esoteric things that people invest in, right? right. Like minor league baseball players, what have you. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and so there's, there's a prior because institutions have this already. And what we're seeing is now the every person wants access to the same thing, uh, right? We're right. seeing that be democratized all over the place with companies like, you know, Rally Road or with Republic or other. Uh, uh, there's all, Delphi is another one, right? We're all yeah. trying to democratize little sleeves of that alternative portfolio. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Wow, wow. Is, is Delphi listed on any exchanges or what's the roadmap? Are they going to be listed or? No, the token's going to roll out this summer. Um, okay. But it's an earn, it's a token that you earn, right? It's a play to earn model. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you are uh, contributing data to the network, uh -huh. you can earn this token. Oh, okay. The token will have a use case within the data set. You'll be able to help us lift up the signal in the data set, uh -huh. Uh -huh. which is important for you as well, because that is what leads to better investment returns, higher quality signal. Right. 
Uh, and it'll also unlock different benefits in the DAO, right? So membership benefits as you sort of accrue token. Okay, okay, cool. Um, last question for our viewers. What's the roadmap and what is there for our viewers with Delphi? Uh, well, there's a big strategy upgrade pending. So if you are uh, interested in putting a little skin in the game, you can open up an investment account. If you're in the States, you can do this. And again, the minimums are very small. $25 yeah. is, uh, is just enough to get your foot through the door. Yeah. And you know that's a chance to experience what quantitative or algorithmic investing looks like, which is different than a robo-advisor. I would say yeah. it's more active. It's more prediction-based. Right. Uh, but if you're an account holder and you've got some skin in the game, mm -hmm. then you'll get to see the sort of token unfold inside the application through the summer, which is, I think, going to be an exciting time for us. Wonderful, wonderful. If you have any questions, you can go to their website. Uh, I think it's Delphi. Delphia. Delphia. Com. Uh, com. com. Delphia. Com. That's yeah. D E L P H I A. Dot com. And thank you so much, Andrew, for taking the time My and uh, hoping you explain about your project. And wish you all the best. And thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.